Hi, I'm a 3D artist and I made all kinds of games with RTX R. But Lappy Bird with super realistic graphics? Now that would be a completely stupid idea and a total waste of- Let's get started by launching my favorite software, Blender. The first step is modeling the environment, which includes the pipes, buildings, trees, a blue sky, and the iconic bird. Modeling the pipes was an easy task. I just used the cylinder and with a bit of tweaking and applying textures, it was done. Then I had to randomly place them into the scene just like in the original game. Now for the buildings, I followed this famous tutorial by Ian Hubert and modeled some super low poly buildings and made a city. I also had to put it way back so it doesn't look like it was modeled by a two year old. Uh, so for the trees, I used PNGs that I found from Google. I used hair particle system on a plane and added fake looking trees to the background so it doesn't blow up my PC. Then I added a highly subdivided plane and applied a wave texture to simulate movement of water. And now it's time to add some... What the dog doing? Grass. For which I used an add-on and wow, this looks so much cool now. So, time to add the iconic bird. And you know, it says, It's easy as taking candy from a baby. <laughs> oh my god! So I found a 3D model of a Flappy Bird, I imported it into Blender, and what I saw was the most disgustingly topologized 3D model in the history of my entire 3D career. So I tried to model out the basic shape of the bird which is just a bunch of spheres here and there. Everything was going good until I got off the side. Wheel. What? Holy Jesus. What is that? What the f is that? Look, you're not gonna be able to see this from the front view anyways. So uh, we are good. I just have to make you all forget what you saw. Sorry. Now, animating the bird is a difficult task, and you might ask, Hey Harnai, why don't you use the physics mechanics? Well, So, I guess that answers your question. Well, anyways, I started animating this frame by frame which was a huge pain but luckily, I already had a backup. I used this reference gameplay footage and carefully aligned the bird frame by frame and finished animating the bird. Then I rendered out the animation. Here is the concept render. But wait, this is just a render you might ask. To make this playable, I'm gonna use Unreal Engine 5 which is known for the best graphics ever. So I started downloading it and... Two days later. Uh, okay, so after downloading Unreal Engine 5, I think uh, it's time to check it. And... <coughs> Uh, so that was unfortunate. Okay, so I know a friend who might be able to help me. His name is Bluff. Hey man, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Uh, so I'm gonna show you something that uh, I made in Blender. Sure, go ahead. Man, this is awesome. Where can I play this? I mean, yeah, that's a problem. If you could help me with this. Oh yeah, I've already made a scuffed version in UE4, so this should be a piece of cake. <laughs> So Bluff already made a version of it back in UE5, which is, um, uh, uh, yeah, we'll change the human character to bird later. First off, we replaced the cylinders with the pipes from my blender project, added some procedure, 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 procedural, procedural generation to randomly generate pipes, then applied camera lag for smoother feel. And the whole game is finished, kinda. So the steps are pretty much exactly the same. Bluff modeled some buildings in Blender and imported them into Unreal Engine 5. Then he turned it into a city, also added animated water to the scene. Then we added trees, grass and the best part of this project, realistic interchangeable day and night cycle, which looks very cool. We also optimized the scene so it only renders grass and trees which are visible to the camera view so you can play it on low end PCs. Okay, now we need to change the human with the bird. So, we imported the bird into Unreal Engine 5. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Then we added the bird mechanics that you guys have been waiting for. 
then we added the board mechanics that you guys have been waiting for. Now the game is pretty much finished. We also added some fur for realism. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. Hair movements and a flashlight so you can use it at night time. Now, all is left is to add some sound effects, a theme music, a main menu, which for Bluff is a super easy task. After some final touches, here's the gameplay footage of the actual game. I think so how was it if you want to download this game it's available for free at our itch.io but if you do want to support us you can purchase it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button and subscribe for more videos i'll see you in the next one peace out